In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be teaching you part three of the Peyton Manning offense, how to use it in Madden, and what you can learn um, from the third concept. Now, if you're new to the channel, basically what I do here on my YouTube channel is I break down Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day. I try to help you get better on the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball. And to be honest with you, I'm not the best player in the world, and that's why that I have to practice a ton um, to try to get better at this game. And so as I go through and learn new things, I want to share those with you so that you can be up to speed on that as well. So if you're interested in getting better at this game like I am, then I would encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. We upload new videos every single day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. We also live stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, and we're actually in the middle of our CFM playoffs uh, this week. So if you want to join our PS4 CFM, shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644, and you'll see it at the top right hand or top left hand corner of my screen. Um, as we go throughout this video. All right, guys, so um, it's been a little bit since I've done the Peyton Manning offense, but I want to get back into it, and to be quite honest with you, it's because um, I need I need it, <laughs> um, to be honest with you, because I have been struggling a little bit um, just with my reads, and it's just because I haven't gotten a lot of reps. So there's three major concepts to the Colts offense. The first one is levels, and this is an article that is an old article from smartfootball.com. You can't even get this anymore. I actually had this saved in my old files, this is a, a series that I, I did, uh, oh gosh, probably five years ago. Um, but I want to get back into it because um, just I just think it works. I think it works very well. And the cool part is you can really mix this in with the air raid um, that we are, are known for here at the channel. So um, this is the favorite play that they run. And this is probably my favorite play to run in Madden 2. This is basically levels divide. Um, as you see here, we broke this down on an earlier video. And you can get the full Peyton Manning playlist in the description of this video where it's got all of his uh, all of the, the plays broken down. But what you'll notice is we have a curl route, we have a curl flat on the on this side, we have a streak up the seam, and then we have this little high-low levels concept. So that's kind of their first major play. The second major play is inverted levels or fin. And as you see here, this looks very similar to levels. It's the only difference really is you still have everything on the backside is the same. As you see here, everything on the backside is the same. The only major difference is now this guy is running the underneath little hitch or in route, and this guy is running the backside dig route. So um, the high-low is just basically flipped. Now we're going to get into their third power concept or their third main concept that they're going to use, and it's called deep cross. Now the way you're going to run this in Madden is going to differ a little bit from the way that they run it, um, the way that the Colts actually run this, um, just because I think with the way zone drops work in Madden, some of the ways that people are going to play defense on you, you're going to need a little bit of an adjustment to this. So um, we're going to actually dive into this one really quickly here. Uh, and I want to read you this description, and then we'll jump into Madden gameplay, and I'll show you how to do it in the game. I got the game booted up here on my other screen. So as you can see here, uh, I just want to read this to you. The last of the big three, the deep cross, which is another one that he's written previously about, which we'll get into that in just a minute. There's some nuance as described in the link, but we are not talking about the most complex passing concept ever. It's about either trying to get one of the two play side receivers free on the deep post. So you got basically a double post right here, barring that the deep crosser from the other side. Um, the crosser generally is taught to go under Sam. So right here going to go under this Sam linebacker right here, okay? So under Sam, and then he's going to work to get over this guy, over Mike. So he's going under this linebacker right here, over this linebacker. It's going to go under, over, right? Why cross? That's basically what it is, right? So that's kind of the idea um, as far as what he's going to do. Meaning, the, and then um, under Will, so under Sam and over Mike, or under Will and over Mike, meaning flat underneath the outside linebacker but behind the middle linebacker to help the defense lose track of him basically in the zone coverage he's going to get kind of wide open and then you just hope those other defenders are sucked up on the play action as you have no uh as you have now flooded that zone but often as you can see in the game cutups the defense does a decent job of not being fooled and manning will oftentimes dump it to the running back on the check down who himself is wide open so basically what you're going to do is you're going to create kind of a curl um not a curl flat concept but um essentially a high-low read between the cross and the running back. You need the extra protection, so we're going to keep the tight end in to block. Um, and then let me just come over here to this other um, this other article that he wrote on this as well. This is on uh, the deep crossing route. Now, I want to read this to you really quickly. Crossing routes are part of every passing team's offense, but we mostly hear on TV about the shallow cross, where a receiver drags across the field at six yards or less, which is a good route, but when teams want a big play, they increasingly turn to a deep crossing route, a route that seems, at least based on the media coverage, far less well understood and it's, um, than its little brother. 
And Fandata's example of this is the Air Raid, Bill Walsh, uh, different things like that. But this is the route right here, as you can see. The route is simple to describe, but it takes a lot of practice to perfect. Receiver must have a medium to tight split from the tackle, and he begins his route as if he's running inside maybe an inside curl. He, of course, climbs to the depth and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's, it's basically this is that same idea of the crossing route. Okay, now this right here is kind of the way Manning runs this. It's a deep cross um, with a double post attached to it, right? Um, and that's kind of the same basic idea here. So uh, we're going to jump into practice mode and basically break this down. But as you can see, this is the, we're going to put the safeties in conflict. So let's jump over here into gameplay. Now, the, I'm using the New England doubles. Um, the New England doubles is straight out of my ebook. Um, this is a little bit of a different variation of this, but um, this is kind of how you run this play. Uh, and, and really excited to jump in here. So, we're going to use the play slot cross. Okay, slot cross. Um, you could also use the play. Um, PA deep outs. If you wanted to use PA deep outs, you could use that. If you wanted to use cross, um, you could use that as well. Okay. And we're going to show this to you against a couple different coverages, okay? So what we're going to do is the back is going to be on a check and release route every time. The back is always going to be on this check release route. Now, the way that we're going to do this um, is a little bit different than the way that uh, Peyton Manning would, would, would do this, uh, at least in his time with the Colts. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to run our double post to the running back side right so we're going to put mike evans on a post we're going to put rob gronkowski on a post you could also put gronk on a cross route if you wanted to okay you could do either a post double post traditional like this or you could put a um deep cross it's up to you okay and then instead of blocking somebody like the colts would we're simply going to take our backside guy and you can leave him on his dig route or you could run him on a vertical route, or you could put him on a curl, anything you want to do. And I actually really typically will leave him on a dig just to kind of help with the underneath of everything. So he might go on a little basic levels concept here. Um, but, but you know, you could do whatever you want to do. But basically, we got that light and that slot cross. He's going to go under Sam over Mike on the right side. And then this guy right here, Miller, is honestly kind of a defender that you – or a, a, a receiver – that you can do a little bit of whatever you want. You could put him on a drag. You could put him on a post. You could put kind of anything that you really want to, right? Normally what I'm going to do is I'm normally going to put him on a curl route, okay? Normally that's that's going to be my move is to put him on a curl route um, or just simply putting him on a little smoke screen route just as a check down, okay? So I can have a high-low read on both sides of the field. Now, against man coverage, this actually works really, really well. You're going to see that both of these crossing routes will get open um, against man-to-man -man coverage, especially that route to Chris Godwin. As you can see there, he's going to get open against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, the trick with the post route on um, on the on Mike Evans, the, the trick with this route is to smart route it. You want to make sure that you're smart routing this route so that it goes the proper depth. Uh, if it does that, if you're able to smart route it, you'll see that he's going to get in – a decent chance to get inside leverage against man coverage. The reason that he's not going to beat man coverage, um, as you see, as you see it right here, is primarily because of the fact that um, is because of the fact that Jair Alexander has over 90, uh, 90 man coverage, um, and because Mike Evans has under ninety deep route running. So that kind of goes hand in hand here. But here you'll see gets that inside position. And you're going to just simply possession catch that. So you have two um, two really good man beaters uh, within this within this play, and you're you're really going to give them a lot of trouble over the middle of the field. At least this has kind of been my experience with this. We see we have that little little check down route to the back too. You know if anything comes over, but basically we're double crossing this. Um, and again, if you want to put uh, to tight end on a post, you can. Um, let me show you the tight end on a post. Um, he might actually beat man a little bit better if he's on a post route, to be honest with you. Um, it's just the reason that I oftentimes like the double cross is just because of where it's going to get to on the field. So, you know, you can you can kind of do whatever you want here with that. But that's kind of your, you know, you can, again, you can do really whatever you want to do uh, with, that, with, that, um, with that player. And you'll see right here, I mean, just going to come cross and typically will beat man to man um, 
right across there. So you have three real decent reads against man. So now what people are going to do is they're going to run zone coverage, right? And there's not a zone in the game that's going to drop stock to defend this. What they're going to have to do is they're going to have to basically do zone drops. And so as you'll see right here, um, you're basically going to look back at the snap of the ball and see is there is there anyone in the grass area of these crossing routes most of the time there probably will be if you're playing good competition if you're playing bad competition you could probably throw this all game long um because if you're playing good competition they're gonna know that these crossing routes are a problem and so they're gonna already set their zone drops to drop back but as you can see you have your post route on the left side as well so both of these routes can come open against those against that coverage now let's say they play um cover two right let's say they play cover two most of the time what people will do in this in this defense is they will go with one of the crossing routes their user will take one of them and so if that happens and they're playing cover two um you're going to and of course i called the wrong play there um you're going to ba basically be able to hit that double post that post to the um to the left side receiver so let me get the slot cross and we'll show you right here so i've got double post on the left or on the right and then I have a couple check down reads here in case things go crazy. But what you'll see here is that post route is going to be wide open against cover two. As you can see right there, it's wide open. So the double, you know, the double post, the beauty of that. Now, what about cover four? What about cover four? Cover four is kind of an interesting coverage against this. Um, if they have their zone drop set and the, the, this specific cover four, we're going to actually... Um, the, the, the zones will come down on us a little bit. But what you'll see in a traditional cover four is this post route does have a chance to get over the top of it. Um, and of course, we haven't taken our vibration off, so sorry about that. But what you'll see here out of cover four, we will need a little bit of time in the pocket. And with practice mode being the way it is, I'm just going to basically spy everybody off. But this post route will actually have a decent chance um, at getting separation against the cover four drop. You'll see here the safety is going to go. And we can kind of get that over the top of that cover four. It's really, really tight. It's a tight window throw. And you have to have a good pass lead on your quarterback to be able to get this throw to work. If you don't have a good pass lead, you're going to have a challenge um, as far as being able to get this to beat the cover four. But if you have a gunslinger quarterback and you have time in the pocket, um, you can actually get over the top of this coverage. As you see here, they're going to go with that guy. And then I can basically click on and make that play with Mike Evans. So that's an option that you have with this double post uh, style. And what this is really going to force them to do is it's going to force them to play either cover three or cover four. And it's really what they're what they're probably going to do as a result is they're going to have to start running some type of Mabel coverage where they're having a hard flat and a cloud flat and they're using in the middle of the field to be able to take all this stuff away. Because if they just drop back like that, you can easily do what Manning would often do in this offense and you can simply check down to your underneath route. So this is going to cause them to then have to basically do something like this where they have the they have purple zones all over. They have purple zones on both sides. They have flat zones on both sides. And then they're basically going to be able to, uh, with their deep zones, take away that post route to Mike Evans, right? And you're still going to have uh, a pretty decent chance at hitting a couple of these routes as they cross. So your crossing routes, you can low ball the, these crossing routes in the, in through the zones as well. So if they're running Mabel coverage on you, yes, that will stop kind of the deep uh, version of that play, but it's not going to stop the you know being the ability to have that you have to basically be able to throw it through the zones um, with low balls and things like that as far as using you know different types of routes like that so again you have your two check down reads you'll notice here the crossing routes are going to be taken away but this is again you know this is dropping everybody back as you can see here that's what manning would do oftentimes is he's going to hit that running back that's why i love that that little black um or that route to the running back is really, really good. And the reason why it's so good is because when, um, because he's a block, because it's not a, um, because he's doing a block and release instead of just going out, um, what's going to happen is the defense will just drift naturally away from him. And as you can see here, 
they're just going to drift away from him, and I could take that route as a check down if everything breaks down, which honestly with this with this play, you will see some of that happen. Okay, The next way to do this is from PA deep outs or PA comebacks or whatever it's called with the post. Basically, you have a slot post route. Okay, And how we're going to do that from this play um, is we're just going to basically smart route Chris Godwin, my, and then we're going to put Scotty Moe in a post route. Now, the one issue I think with this play that you're going to run into is you'll find that um, you need to put the tight end on a cross, unfortunately, so we're just going to have a little curl flat concept on the backside here. This specific double post is not going to give you the best of both worlds. You see they're going to kind of run to the same area. That's the one issue that I think you're going to run into with running it in this direction. Um, what we What we wish we could do is have um scotty miller be on a deep post so like if you would have to basically what you would have to do to get this to work and this is if you have a hot route master but basically we would have to motion miller over put him on a post route and then basically motion him back over okay now if you did that then this is this is exactly what we want to have right it's kind of a double post with a cross um you see here that you can do this and it does take a little bit of time but it's worth it with the final product that you're able to get. You're able to get a really, really good man beater and zone beater out of this. Now, this is not necessarily a great play uh, if they blitz you um, because it's a play that requires, I think, a little bit of time for the routes to develop. So that's just something that you have to be aware of. Um, but if they do blitz you, let's say that they are, uh, what you'll notice here is their user is going to be kind of in the middle of the field. They might sit a six-man pressure. Now, what you'll notice on the outside is, you know, if they play cover two or if they play cover three, it, it is what it is, right? Nothing you can do about it. But um, on the offensive side of the ball, you have that block and release pattern uh, to your running back, which is going to do really, really well. They're probably going to use one of these two underneath routes so you can check down to the flats if if that's open. And then let's say, let's say that, um, you know, let's say that they don't want to give the flats up, so they do something like this right here, right? They're going to send you a, si a six-man pressure, and the pressure won't be able to be as good because they've got to have, um, they've got to have more people in coverage. So they probably use the safety right here, right? So we're blitzing everybody, but we got you know basically um, coverage with that. And what you'll see if they do something like that, um, as far as how is this going to, um, as far as how is this going to. Um, affect your your quarterback now they're going to take the little flats away but you're going to have one of these two crossing rounds that you're able to hit okay so that's kind of um that's kind of what what this play really is and again you know hear me loud and clear this is not this is what we call a play they're going to go to you know once they've either established the run or they've established quick routes you're not going to run this against the blitz, right? This is what you run after you've proven you beat you can beat the blitz. That's that's more of what you're going to see. So um, you want to run this after you've proven you've beaten the blitz, not when you're trying to learn how to beat the blitz or they are blitzing. This is when they're dropping back and they're playing coverage defense because most of the time a stock coverage defense is going to struggle with this play um, just because of the way that it's going to work together. And again, because your check downs – that you have all over the field. So, for example, if they do something like this, where it's like America's coverage defense, right? I mean, that's what this really is. This is the coverage defense that, you know, I believe that several people will run against this, right? Well, you run this play right here, and what you'll see here is these crossing routes have a good, a good chance. Not only do the crossing routes have a good chance, the post routes have a good chance against man coverage as well. So the post route to... Um, the, the post route to your, your your tight end, right, in this, he's going to have a good chance to get open as well. So let me show you that real quick. Slot cross, post route, double post that, and then I've got basically a little check down read to Miller. And what you'll notice here is this is going to pull the flat, and you're able to hit that post route to the tight end. Okay, it's going to get underneath that um, that route, so they're not going to be able to stop the the cross route and the post route on the same uh, in the same play. It's what makes this play so powerful, um, being able to do that from a slot cross, you know. And realistically, 
you know, if you don't have a hot route master quarterback, um, you know, I would just put a slot apprentice uh, on that tight end right there. Or you can always just motion him. Um, you'll see here if I motion him to the left, I think he's going to come. Oh, no, he goes across. Uh, I guess you can't. But but just, you know, have a slot apprentice out there. It'll be fine. Um, and then you're able to do that. And the cool part is, like, you can, you know, if you have a hot route master, you could basically run um, the same the same basic principle um, to the other side of the field. You see here double post uh, and the crossing route. You know, it's basically the same kind of theory, uh, and it's going to work very similarly. So that's why I would recommend, you know, when you're running this, you have a hot route master quarterback. If you don't have a hot route master quarterback, it's going to be hard to get all the routes that you need. But this is kind of how you do it. And if you wanted to run the traditional, um, if you actually really wanted to run the traditional way that they run it, like in the in the actual thing, again, you need to do some motioning. But basically, we'll motion Evans across, put him on a put him on a um, a uh, crossing route. The tight end, um, honestly, we're probably going to just leave. We, we really wouldn't. I don't know what we would even put him on because he's technically blocking. I would probably just put him on a drag. Um, you can't really do anything else with him or a hitch route, but you really would probably just want him on a drag route. Anyway, and then you're going to run your, your double post, right? So something like this right here. Um, this play right here is actually pretty powerful just because of all of the crossing routes that you have on your field. So you could do it like that as well. But that's how you run that. In this play, again, it's a deep passing play. It's a play you run on second and one, third and two, uh, or not third and two, but second and one. You could run on third and two, but, like, you, you don't want to – this is not, like – this is a play that is kind of a, a shot play, you know, in, in all reality and the way it works. So oftentimes you're going to check it down to the back pretty much. Um but this is going to keep them from playing too much underneath coverage to be able to stop your levels and your fin concept. So this is kind of what you go to once they start bringing everybody underneath. So that is uh, the deep cross concept. Uh, we're probably going to go over the quick slant concept next, show you how to beat the blitz from that. Um, it's my favorite blitz beater in the entire game um, because it just it just is simple, but it really, really does work. So that's how you do that. If you guys want to get my text message membership real quick before we take off, um, I give out pro level schemes every single week in my text message membership, 100% free of charge. All you have to do is text me to get up to, to sign up for it. Um, my number is 812 812- 216-3644. Pretty sure our text message membership is going to be going out today as well. Um, so happy holidays to everybody. Hope you guys had a great Christmas. And if you have any questions about our text message membership, just text me. My number is 812-216-3644. It's my personal cell phone number. Best way to get a hold of me. And um, you can ask me any Madden question you want. So uh, just hit me up. Let me know what's up. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll see you guys in our next video coming in a few hours.